Okay, uh, chapter 7, quizzes. Okay, so, DHCPV4, concepts. Okay, which message is sent by DHCPV4 client to initiate the list obtaining process? Okay, so, it should be... It is the... DHCP... It's DHCP... DHCP discover. Is the first the first step for obtaining the HCP uh, address IP address HCP discover. So the client must discover a server. Let's find it's, uh, this class. Client finds servers DHCP servers. So which two DHCP v4 messages are sent by the server in the this obtaining process? Okay, the HCP discover is is from the client over request acknowledge so request request or okay so we have dhcp offer and dhcp acknowledge so these are the messages sent by the server to the client so dhcp request is also a message from the client requesting for the IP address. No? No. So I think it's the yeah. this in the IP address no? that the server offer. Next, which two DHCPv4 messages are used in the list renewal process? Okay. So they're in renewing the IP address. No? We have DHCP request and DHCP acknowledge. Request request from client and acknowledge from the user. So check. Next, uh, uh, module quiz for the GPV for module quiz. Okay, so the DHCP enable client. It has just booted. So during which two steps will the client PC use broadcast message when communicating with the DHCP server? Okay. So client PC use broadcast messages. We have DHCP discover and DHCP request. Okay. So these are the bro broadcast messages. But for the DHCP server, so it is a uh, unicast unicast messages. Okay, so an administrator issues the commands. Okay, so interface, the interface, and then IP address DHCP. So what is the administrator trying to achieve? Okay, so it's using an address. So configure the router to obtain IP parameters from the DHCP. So I think this is the answer. So configure the router to. So Okay, so, so it configures or the administrator configures the router to obtain IP parameters. So the router is now a DHCP client. So when a client is requesting an initial address list from a DHCP server, why is the DHCP request message sent as a broadcast? Uh, the client may have received offers. So this might be the answer. Most likely the answer. So the client may have received offers from multiple servers and the broadcast servers to implicitly decline those other offers. So it can be also to notify the other servers that we already or the client is already leasing an IP address from the uh, DHCP server. So next, which DHCP IPv4 uh, message contains the following information? Okay, so the station address is set to broadcast. Uh, should be the DHCP discover. Okay. Next, so what kind of message is sent by DHCP v4 client requesting an IP address? Uh, Requesting for an IP address. 
of this EDHP Discover broadcast message. Okay. So we don't have Discover, DHCP Discover Unicast message. We don't have that. DHCP offer, so it is used for, by server as well as the DHCP acknowledgement. So it's, uh, the, both of these uh, message are used by the DHCP server. So next, as a DHCP v4 client list is about to expire, so what is the message that a client sends to the DHCP server? Uh, DHCP, uh, what is the message that a client sends? So it's the DHCP request. It is for renewing the IP address. So what is the destination IP address when an IPv4 host sends a DHCP discover message? So it is said to broadcast which it is called this so it finds or locating uh, the HTTP server so it must be set on the on a uh, broadcast message okay. so if more than one HTTP server is available on the local network in which order will the HTTP messages be sent between a host and the HTTP server so obviously we need to discover we need first to discover the HCP server and then the HCP server will offer the IP address and then the client will now uh, accept the, uh, the offer and then send that request using that uh, specific IP address and then after that uh, the, the server will now acknowledge the request of the uh, client so the answer will be discover offer request acknowledgement so what is the most likely scenario in which the one interface of a router would be configured as a DHCP client to be assigned a dynamic IP address from an ISP? Uh, it is a SOHO or home broadband router. So, so, meaning. Uh, no, not working. Small, small office, home office. Okay, that's the so means. Okay, which is the HTTP for address lo allocation method that assigns a P IPv4 address for a limited lease period. Okay, we have dynamic allocation. Okay, dynamic allocation. Next, what is the reason why the request message is sent as a broadcast during the HTTP V4 process? To notify other DHCP servers on the subnet that the IP address was So I think the DHCP request is a multicast address. So it's a multicast address for all the servers, I think. Or, or a broadcast. So how, a, how is a DHCP discover transmitted on a network to reach a DHCP server? Uh, so it's a broadcast. Message is sent with broadcast IP address. So, which destination IPv4 address does a DHCPv4 client use to send an initial DHCP discover packet when the client is looking for DHCP server? Okay. So, we have the destination IPv4 address of all two five. So under which two circumstance, circumstances would the router usually be configured as the HCP before client? Okay, so it is a small office, some office gateway, I think. Uh, the HCP before client, so client. Okay, it is not meant to provide IP address because the router itself needs the IP address. Okay, so this is an ISP requirement. Which address does a DHCP v4 server target when sending a DHCP, DHCP offer message to a client that makes an address request? Target. DHCP server. Offer. When sending DHCP offer. Okay, so it is the DHCP server is replying from the HCP discover. Okay, so I think so the answer would be client hardware address because initially 
the client does not have the IP address. Okay. So it will be sent to the client hardware address. Okay. So we got all correct. So that's it for uh, chapter 7 increases.